proficient computer programming skills are a way to earn a decent income. But for Ohema Ando, it's about encouraging and inspiring young girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Her goal is to build an army of young tech savvy entrepreneurs in Ghana. I spoke to Ohema Ando, founder of Girls in Science and Technology, and the director at Kumasi Best PMI STEAM Education Center. Welcome yeah. to Africa 54. Hello, Paul. Thank you for having me. Right off the bat, let's start off by you telling us a little bit about what you do. Uh, you run an organization that empowers young people, that trains, uh, that gives young people a new lease on life. Uh, you give them skills that are critical in this day and age. Uh, let's start there. I run two organizations, actually, and... Um, the first one is PM STEAM Educational Center. And with that, our focus is more from five years to 14 years, where we take kids to coding, robotics. And we're also teaching kids piano and the guitar. So that is what we focus on, basically to develop their skills, right? Their communication skills, critical thinking skills, to make them exceptional beings and well-rounded adults when they grow up yes so that is what i focus on and with the second organization that is girls in science and technology it's called gist and that is an ngu that focuses on advocating for our young girls and um, to pursue careers in science technology engineering and mathematics so we do that by providing them with mentorship we talk to companies to provide them with internship opportunities we do trainings with these young ladies as well so those are the two things but they are all centered around stem and steam what motivated you to start uh, these programs uh, these are all uh, very interesting programs uh, uh, trying to tap into the young uh, people, uh, maybe build their skills, their talents. Uh, what got you into this space? With GIST, I started off my career as a cementing and stimulations engineer. So most of my job was offshore. And there were times where I always say that people go like, wow, there were times where you would find yourself being the only lady amongst 200 men. So you would have to do everything with these men, share rooms with the men, share the bathroom, do basically everything with them. So it got me thinking, is it that women don't know about this or women are scared to go into this? So during that time, I was researching and I found out it cuts across a lot of the STEM fields, like the STEM fields, basically to find very few women there. And also during my time offshore, when I share posts on Instagram and social media, like I would have people ask me, what did you study to do this? So some weren't even aware of options like that for them. As much as some were scared, some also were not aware of options like that. And most of the time when we turn on our TVs, when you listen to the news and we have a representative talking about engineering, what you see is a guy. You see a male figure doing that. And one thing I really believe in is visibility. Like when you see something someone is doing, you can just hope and dream to be that. So you start working towards that. So that is why I started GIST. You brought up a very uh, important point. Uh, uh, globally, uh, when it comes to STEM, there are fewer women. Uh, uh, when you go to these uh, tech companies, uh, you see fewer women. Uh, but that is uh, changing. Uh, and uh, thanks to the likes of you who are uh, uh, making that uh, change happen. Uh, when uh, you look back, uh, what were some of the challenges are uh, you trying to fit in? Or what should other young women who are afraid uh, to go on that journey be looking at? During that time, I didn't see it as a challenge. Because once you are able to go through it, it takes you to a higher step, right? So I just felt it was something that I needed to... It wasn't really a challenge for me. It was like a growth that I needed to go through. When I bring it to me promoting STEM amongst women, amongst kids... The challenge is lack of understanding because when you're dealing with kids, you'd have to go through their parents. So the parents also have to understand the whole STEM, STEAM concept out there. They are not used to it. It's new to most of these parents. And trying to let them see how that skill, the child needs that skill, how it's going to help them develop. I think that has actually been my greatest challenge, getting parents to come on board, getting parents to understand how important this is now. You'd find some parents tell you, these things are for white people, they are not for black people. 
they, they normally say that. When I go like, no, these are skills that we all need. We need to have a, a set of certain mindsets. And for me, STEM and STEAM is not just career oriented. For me, I feel everybody needs to work with that mindset when i say a stem or steam mindset basically you identify problems you come up with solutions to these problems you work with people you communicate in teams so just the problem solving mindset that we need as a people 